Hello guys and welcome back. So now in this video we're gonna assign the player team number to the actual players or you can say the player controller manager and also we're gonna spawn the players in the specific team area spawn points okay. So first of all if we open up the scripts folder in here open up the multiplayer scripts folder and then let's open up the player controller manager on which we instantiate our player or you can say spawn our player now right here what we're gonna do we're gonna spawn the player and also assign the team number to it so first of all we're gonna create a public integer by the name of player team and this is gonna store what the player team is okay if it is team one or team two then after this we're gonna create a private dictionary and this dictionary will store all of the player teams okay so dictionary this will be a integer so we're gonna do that and then name this as player teams okay then we're gonna say new dictionary and that is all after this what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new method okay so we will say void assign teams to all players and in here first of all we want to loop through all the players in the room so we're gonna say for each photon dot real time dot player and then player in the photon network dot player list okay so now in here we're gonna say player dot custom properties dot contain contains actually contains key and that key is the team key okay as you know that we have created a custom property right here as you can see and we uh, name it as team and in in that team we store the team uh, number of each of the player okay so now create an integer team and this is gonna be equals to the custom property team value so we're gonna say integer player dot custom properties and we're gonna say team okay after this what we're gonna do we're gonna say that the player team okay this player team integer gonna be now equals to the let me first of all type player dot actor number okay and this gonna be equals to the team okay this team integer so if the player team was one then that will be assigned to this and if it is two then it will be assigned as well okay and then after this if you want to show the team number of each of the player in the console you can do that just simply type dboard.log player dot nickname we will first show the name of the player and then join that by the team number okay so like ali share ali shares team and then the team number okay after this we gonna uh, call the method assign player to spawn area for each player when they join okay but for now we don't want that for now we just want to assign the teams okay 
now at the bottom of the script we're going to create a public override void not rider public override void on player entered room okay and in here for the player we need to pass the player so we're going to say photon dot real time dot player new player all right and now we're going to call this assign team to all players method in here okay after this what we're going to do now is that in here when we are instantiating the player okay what we're going to do right here is when this player controller manager runs okay when this is instantiated this player controller manager script okay or you can say the game object on which the script is attached as you know that it will be uh, spawned for the local player as well so we want to uh, set the team for the local player as well so let's retrieve the player's team from custom properties okay so right here we're gonna say photon network dot local player this time okay then dot custom properties dot contains key team okay so if it does contain that then let me cut that from there paste it in here and then what we are gonna do is we actually gonna let's just simply delete this okay because now what we are gonna do in order to instantiate the player let's create the method assign player to spawn area okay and this gonna require a integer by the name of team okay so we're gonna pass the team to this uh, method and then according to that team number we're gonna spawn the player either in the team spawn area or team to spawn area okay for now we can just simply paste that in here because we don't have the spawn point set up for now so we're gonna spawn the player in the exact same space as we did before okay and right here we're gonna say player team equals to the photon network dot local player dot custom properties okay then it will be equals to that team number and then for showing the local player team uh, the local player team number or you can say the uh, our own team player number we're going to debug a message which will be players team and we're going to show that what is the player team okay and after this we're going to assign the player to the appropriate spawn area based on their team okay and for that purpose we created this method but for now we are not doing it but let's assign the player team uh, to this uh, uh, assign player to spawn area okay this integer so we're gonna pass the player team to it for now all right okay now at the top uh, make sure that you type one call packs right here and also since we are creating a dictionary and also we are using the uh, real-time 
photon real time so we need to add that right libraries or you can say packages at the top so the first one should be photon dot real time the second one will be photon system dot io and then after this we're gonna add the unity engine dot ui because we will be dealing with the ui when we are uh, dealing with the each player uh, kills okay so make sure that you add that then the system dot link and then this one okay as you know that we in a more dictionary player team so make sure that right here you type player teams okay because right here we are assigning teams to all of the players so we're gonna need to use that dictionary not the player team integer okay because that is for the local player now we save the script okay and get back to unity let's uh, build the game and start it and then we will see how the team uh, thing works okay so let me now name this again as uh, player built pc click next let's create a room and as you can see uh, this player is on team one okay now let's join the game from that uh, from this pc let's join it okay so it is team two okay so as you can see the build pc is on team one and the main pc is on team two okay let's start the game as you can see the game is start let me move this player right here okay and let's minimize that let's now see first of all right here okay so as you can see our local player team is team 2 okay if we now check right here so as you can see this is our local player controller manager and as you can see it is showing team 2 and if you check the built PC as you can see for that player it is showing team 0 okay so now let me first of all just close the game okay and what we gonna do is we gonna click on resources open up the player and as you can see right here we are showing the uh, uh, player uh, username and now with the player username we're gonna show the player team as well okay let me get out of the 2d mode okay and we're gonna show the player team number right here okay for now it is reverted but when we play the game it will be then fixed okay so let's duplicate this now okay and let's name this as team move it right here let's resize it and then we're gonna say team one okay and everything else will be the same and now as you can see team one is looking good okay then let's open up this uh, username uh, user team display script okay what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna create a reference to our photon view component let's name this as player pv or you can name this as view as well just view if you want then we need a reference actually we we have the reference to the photon view component okay so sorry about that okay we just need a reference to our team number okay so let's name this as team text and what we're gonna do is now we're gonna say that right here after this comment show team number we're gonna say that uh, if the uh, photon view component contains a property by the name team okay so let's do that so we're gonna say view dot owner dot custom 
properties dot contain key actually contains key and if that is the team key so then what's uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna assign that team to our team text okay so let's first of all create an integer team which will be equals to the custom property team okay so we're gonna say view dot honor dot custom properties in here we're gonna say team and then we're gonna say team text dot text equals to team then space and then plus the team number that is it okay so just type team okay which is this integer now so once you do this save the script right here it needs the team so drag and drop the team in there and we are good to go so now if we now click next create a room okay so now our built pc player is on team one let's join it from our main pc okay our main pc player is on team two okay let's start the game oops okay so when the game start as you can see our main pc player is on team two okay and if we check it from our main pc now as you can see our built pc player is on team one okay but if you see the same thing from here as you can see our player okay the main pc player is on team two if you click the other uh, player controller manager it shows team zero but right here it is showing team one okay so it is just uh, a basic thing in photon maybe it is not showing the team uh, one right there but as you can see the player the build pc player is on team one okay so it means our code is working perfectly fine and you can just ignore this thing all right now we can simply um, close the game and in the next video what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, spawn the players on the uh, team spawn points according to their team number